What up, Mario here. Apple has unveiled three new Apple Watch models at this year's September event. The Apple Watch Series 8, the next generation Apple Watch SE, and the brand new Apple Watch Ultra. So let's go over each one and see if you should consider buying them. Let's start off with the Series 8. I strongly believe that if you have last year's Series 7, you should probably consider skipping this one, since the design is the same as last year. You can still pick either the smaller 41mm or the larger 45mm size. As it goes for colors, the aluminum version is available in Midnight, Starlight, Silver and Product Red. And the quite a bit pricier stainless steel option is available in Gold, Silver and Graphite. Apple has added a new temperature sensor that will be mostly used by women to track their cycles more accurately, as well as to plan out their specific times in their calendars. There's a new free axis gyroscope and a high g-force accelerometer. These two new sensors alongside the barometer, microphone and GPS will enable the Apple Watch to sense if you were in a car crash. If it thinks you wear one, it will ping you repeatedly for 10 seconds and if you don't cancel it, it will call emergency services to come and help you. The Apple Watch Series 8 keeps the same 18 hours of battery life as the Series 7, but they are adding a low power mode in the new watchOS 9 update that will extend the battery life all the way to 36 hours. This will turn off the always on display as well as the auto workout detection. So the Apple Watch Series 8 is going to start at $399 for the GPS version and $499 for the cellular version. Next up, we've got the Apple Watch SE. You can get it in silver, midnight and starlight. With this new generation, you are getting a redesigned back with the color matching the case finish. It also features the same sensors for car crash detection, as well as having the same chip as the Series 8, making it 20% faster than the previous generation SE. The GPS version starts 249 and the cellular version starts at 299. And finally, we have the big boy, the brand new Apple Watch Ultra. You can think of the Apple Watch Ultra as the bigger, more resistant brother of the Series 8. It is quite massive for a smartwatch at 49 millimeters, with a completely flat screen encased in a titanium body, having only one colorway, probably because if they try to add something on top of the titanium, it would just peel off or scrape off when doing extreme sports, which this watch was basically designed to do. The screen itself goes all the way up to 2000 nits peak brightness and can be used as a flashlight on your wrist. But to save your eyes at night it has a special low light mode that turns everything on the screen red. I just love how cool this looks. The outside design features a larger crown with an extended protective lip to help you turn it when you have gloves on. It also has a special orange custom button on the left which you can link to a bunch of stuff. With the larger frame the battery inside is also bigger giving the Apple Watch Ultra 36 hours of battery life, which is more than enough for extreme sportsmen for events like a full Ironman or even a 100 mile marathon. There's going to be a software update in the coming months introducing a new extended battery life mode, giving the Apple Watch Ultra up to 60 hours of battery life. Apple has added a few new features to help with specific extreme sports. For example, if you are doing a marathon in big cities, skyscrapers are apparently a big problem, messing up GPS connectivity. For this reason, they have added support for L5 GPS. There's a new compass app that will track your path when hiking to give you an accurate way back home. It also gives you the option to set up your own infinite waypoints to make sure you don't get lost. But if you get stuck somewhere, it has an 86 decibel siren to call for help nearby, reaching out 100 meters with a strong sound. Apple also certified the watch for 40 meters underwater diving, saying it can go all the way up to 100 meters without giving you trouble. To accompany these extreme sports, they have provided some special new loops to go along with the Apple Watch Ultra. The Alpine Loop, Ocean Loop and my personal favorite, the Trail Loop. These will be available on their own for $99 each. Or one of them can already come with your watch for $799. Which, as you look at it up front, it looks kind of expensive. But when you consider all of the great features it has, as well that it undercuts all of the other extreme watch brands like Garmin for example, you can see that it is actually a pretty good deal. I have seen a few reviews showing it off in real life. I would consider getting it just for the extra ruggedness and the extra features just if it wasn't that big. 49mm is just a big chunker and I would love if Apple introduced a new 45mm variant next year. That's gonna be it for today. Stay tuned for my next video about the AirPods Pro 2 and my iPhone 14 Pro unboxing and review. So that's it and see you next time.